we need to talk about this map we need to talk about this map and one of the things we need to talk about is um, especially in regards to Africa right and there was an article I put out in uh, early 2010s regarding why there was so much uh, warmongering involved with Iran and what was going on with Syria why Syria was being attacked right why uh, Qatar Saudi Arabia Turkey Israel United States Europe were tag teaming doing sort of together attacking Syria why Russia was defending Syria with Iran and stuff like this about the Pars gas field here which is the largest gas field deposit in the world where it's jointly owned by Iran and Qatar and basically what happened was Syria uh, rejected the offer by Saudi Arabia to build a gas pipeline going through Syria to feed Europe so Saudi Arabia got pissed off sending the jihadists with the help of the United States and Turkey and all that jazz right the is Islamists the Isis right so basically the wars in the Middle East wars in many places wars in uh, Afghanistan and stuff have been about resources energy and the means to transport that energy pipelines right finish to holy pop you be streaming a lot nowadays indeed we've got five set up in a row this is number three we've got two more to go right now what's going on in Niger what's going on in Niger this is what's going on in Niger ready for it Boop. gas pipeline plan gas pipeline going up from Nigeria through Niger going to Algeria from there splitting up and feeding Europe to compensate for all the energy that Europe in their infinite stupidity cut themselves off of coming in from Russia so Europe is energy starved they cut off their cheapest easiest fastest most reliable source of energy on behest of the United States and the oligarchs EU the psychopaths here because they thought they could annihilate Russia and balkanize it steal its resources the way they did in the 1990s that didn't happen the way they wanted to they thought they could bring in gas pipelines from Syria that didn't happen the way they wanted to they thought Turkey was a reliable ally good luck with that deal right then they also have pipelines coming in from Africa to feed Europe guess what that ain't happening now either dangerous times dangerous times right hopeless robot what do you call a military officer who goes to the bathroom a lot a lieutenant ha 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 funny 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 finish dude yeah starting to hurt the old wallet indeed and it's gonna hurt a lot more this happening here expect there's a reason the gas prices leveled off bottomed out at around 60 to 70 right a few months ago and they've slowly been creeping up we're into oil anyway into um 80 plus range right now right now and natural gas i haven't really looked at the chart too closely lately but i believe it bottomed out now it's going to start climbing up again so energy costs are going to kick up again right inflation up the yin yang right supply chain is broken right how the message oh my magus automod held your message because it thought when you said niger it thought you said something else right that's how low iq these so-called filters sensors are on all these technocratic platforms right okay so Magus said uh, wait so the Niger pipeline was also rejected yeah Niger cut it off they said they're they're not doing that right so the Niger pipeline is also uh being rejected. Nigeria yeah it okay was okay with Nigeria it wasn't okay with Niger right but the pipeline is going through Niger right so they're gonna have to figure out a way 
to get the gas from here to there you can't use ships it's just too much <laughs> it's too slow right you want pipelines you want arteries right uh da, 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 da. synth berry i'm assuming you heard the, the alex jones yeah 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 i did regarding canada and the new variant coming out right and supposedly they're going to bring out the mandates and whatnot and by the way gang um we might be talking about stuff that we can't talk about on sensor two right yeah i caught that da, 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 da. We love Chicho Evil X. How are you doing? Homeless robot. Do you think there will be a war between Egypt and Ethiopia because of the dam? Oh, no, no. I've talked to some um, Egyptians that I know uh, in Victoria, a couple of Egyptians that I know in Victoria. They're saying they've sorted it out. They're saying they've sorted it out. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Right? So the whole thing is. Uh, Ethiopia has been building the dam and uh, well we'll see what happens they're saying no there won't be okay they're saying there won't be I tend to believe them right there's already enough chaos going on and they have intermediaries because Egypt is in good relations with Russia so is Ethiopia is in good relations with Russia uh, I don't think they'll uh, jeopardize that relationship with russia uh, because they, I, i'm pretty sure they'll want to work together because what's going on bricks right because of bricks okay oh my god a most inconvenient country name a most inconvenient country name for the censors right ha uh, excellent hope you are too awesome awesome evil okay so that's a huge piece of the puzzle regarding what's going on in niger mali was occurred a few months ago right where mali told france to get the f out niger told france to get the f out france europe and united states and canada annihilated libya right so basically what's happening right now most african countries are pretty effing pissed at the western world rightfully so and they're making allegiances with russia and china now that they see russia can stand its own ground against the west against the full force of the western world right not just military but economic right so economic war military war sanctions propaganda up the yin yang everything right like the west threw everything at russia everything the only thing it hasn't thrown is nukes and the only reason they haven't thrown nukes at russia is because they know a lot more nukes would be flying back at them right so they threw everything including the baby at russia they've lost right african nations see this they see cracks in the western tyranny right and they're knocking it right they're knocking it we'll see we'll see where all this goes right so we need to change this color to red that's full-on proxy war there's no doubt about it now 